Okay, here we go. Look at this. Look what we have here. Lighter than air. Look. We have a balloon filled with hydrogen at last. And now I'm going to measure how much lift we've got. Now it's not actually full. I'll have to measure the diameter or the radius, sorry, the circumference and then work out the diameter. So we'll know how much gas is in there. And because we've only got a small amount of gas from a large bottle, likelihood is that Brownian motion has meant that we've got a mixture of air and H2 in there. It's not going to be pure hydrogen. So I don't expect we'll get a lot of lift, but I'll show you how we measure the lift in this particular case. And we'll work out there how that compares to the theoretical lift we should be getting from this amount of hydrogen. Sorry, I'm not wearing my lapel mic, but so the audio will be a bit crappy. But here's how we're going to measure how much lift we get from our balloon. Obviously, there are some overheads here. Our balloon and also the thing we're going to try and lift will have a weight. So we're going to measure those there. Six grams. These scales are only accurate to a gram. So six grams for a balloon and this piece of plastic, which I'm going to tie to the balloon. Because what we're going to do is by tying the balloon to that piece of plastic, the difference between the six grams we've measured there and the weight we actually measure, or the weight of this whole thing once I've tied this on, whoops, excluding the tiny little piece of fishing line, which I think is pretty inconsequential, the total weight will be the, um, or the difference in weight will be the amount of lift. So, oh, this, I'm going to, I'm doing a video shortly on my Parkinson's because. It is causing me grief and I've just been to the doctor and he's given me some interesting news. So here we go. So we had six grams and I'll put this on here now and well, so it looks like we've got about probably five grams of lift. You can see the balloon here is, <laughs> if I just pull up a bit here, um, the balloon is almost lifting me. I'm going to go handheld here. So excuse, shakes again because I've got the stabilization off. Um, hang, hang on a minute, I'll try and get this sorted so you can see what's going on here. Oh, I should have been better prepared, but here we go. So we've got our balloon, and it's just about lifting this piece of plastic. So what that means is we had six grams worth of balloon and plastic. So we've got probably five grams of lift from this amount of gas, which isn't a lot, is it? But hey, we're going to make a much bigger balloon for our actual project. So there we go, we've created some lift. That's amazing. Um, what I think I might do now is just take the damn thing outside and let it go. Let's see if it flies without the plastic, of course. Um, just see how the balloon itself goes, just to prove that it is lighter than air. Okay, so here we are, it's another beautifully fine day. If you look at that, not a cloud in the sky, a little bit of breeze. As you can see, by the way, the balloon is bobbling around here. Look, for the, for the benefit of passing airline pilots, I've written not a drone, so that they'll know this isn't a drone. They won't be confused like they have been in the past. So here we go, let's let it go and let's track it, see how it's gonna go into the sun, isn't it? Never mind. Ooh, there she goes, straight into the sun. It's away. Not very focused, is it? Here we go. Yeah, climbing at quite a good rate of knots. Heading off into the wobbly. Under there's our first hydrogen balloon launch. So imagine we've got the camera and everything hanging from that. We'd be getting some pretty good pictures because now it is that high. <laughs> Pretty high. Probably won't be able to see it again with a viewfinder. Oh yeah, there we go. There it is. Ooh, so there we are. We've got 20 times zoom. That's how big it is. It's tiny. It's just being very quickly. Now that would be drifting over town, which would be good because if we had the payload on a balloon like that, we'd be getting some pretty good pictures of the town out here, which is behind those hangars. Yeah, that is fantastic. That's brilliant. I think I'm probably not going to get it back now. Oh no, there it is. Look. <laughs> so it'll just keep going and going and going. And in theory, if we go so high, it will burst because as the balloon rises, the pressure, the atmospheric pressure around it reduces and a reduction in pressure means that the internal pressure causes the envelope to expand until you reach a point where it exceeds the strength of the vinyl, or the, sorry, the rubber or latex balloon envelope and that just bursts. Of course, uh, that's not going to be an issue. We'll be a long, too far out of range before it does that. And I didn't fill that one fully. So, right, that's, that's pretty convincing that we've got a balloon that generates lift and now we're just going to need to do some work on the payload and we need to do some work on calculating the amount of gas volume given the weights and the overheads we've got. So uh, that's just a short video today to show you that we've actually made hydrogen. The balloon goes up and 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 miles away now. So yep, that's what we've done. We've been able to prove and I really don't think I'm going to get it back now because it is just a little dot and the viewfinder doesn't have enough resolution to pull it up so she's gone.